Okay, it's Kate, BYP in the Ham Shack on a hot day outside. And got the Yesu fired up here. And Drake MN2000 matching network totally restored. Let's turn the dit dot down. And the matching network is going to 80 meter thin low wire dipole. And the Yesu is on 40 meters. CW. And I'm going to show to you something I've never seen before, and that is proof of what happens when the SWR meter in or at the matching network appears to be a good SWR. What happens at the antenna? I've never seen anyone prove it. Here's the problem with having an antenna up at 30, 50, 60, 100 feet. We can't reach a feed point to do anything with it without a lot of trouble. So the benefit of that low antenna is I can simply walk right out and touch a feed point. Well, it's real easy then to put a little, uh, the classical old inline SWR meter with this short piece of cable. So I put about, oh, but that extends the transmission line about three feet with the, uh, the meter. And uh, in the next segment of the video, you'll see the meter, but it's the old SWR field strength meter. But uh, the initial condition was, with that test, that this meter read just maybe just a hair above, between 0 and 1.1, 1.05, let's say. Boy, that's a great SWR. That should work well, and the antenna should get out great. Well, you'll see shortly what really happens behind the tuner myth. I'm recording this first part after the second, and I have taken the SWR meter and the transmission line out of the out of the circuit and reconnected the transmission line to the feed point. And this was reading pretty near one to one. Watch what happens now. When it was reading almost one to one, now when I key the transmitter without that about two and a half feet of extra transmission line, what happens to the match? Horrible. It's a thing in CB radio of pretending that the system will be matched better if there's a transmission line added or removed to uh, make the SWR go down. But that's fooling, fooling themselves. All that's doing is moving the minima in the current and making the meter coincide with the minima. And I've, exp I've explained in my other videos that SWR meters don't read SWR, they read reflected current. So this meter is indicating a minimum in current. And what this so-called tuner is doing is fooling us by artificially making a current minima where this meter is picking up and making us think it's matched. Now the radio thinks it's matched also. Moderate SWR. But with this extra transmission line and meter out the antenna, the, the meter on the rig was reading, was, was reading nothing. So we, 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 we think that the system's matched. So is it possible to get that appearance back here by twiddling the knobs? Yes. We'll uh, do knob twiddling. And, and that's what it read. Just a hair. tiny bit. And uh, SWR on the rig reads nothing. Matched? Is it? Absolutely not. And uh, now comes a part of the video where I go outside and show you the meter out there and prove to you that what has happened is a disaster. And note the first indication that this system is not matched is that changing like the transmission line throws the so-called SWR meter way off. When a transmission line is matched, or as we say, flat, the change in length makes no difference. So that proves that the voltage and current are out of phase and have minimas and maximums, and we're just moving the meter and going away from a, a current minimum. Okay, antenna fans, we're gonna prove 
what I've been saying to you about the tuner myth. Here's my low 80 meter dipole, 20 gauge wire. The benefit it is I can reach up and just touch it six feet up. Here's the Olsen Twins meter. And somebody's inside on the key. Okay, set. Now reflected. Okay. Did you see that? The SWR, I'll go inside and explain it. And by the way, this is set with a Drake matching network inside, and the SWR is basically looks dead flat on a meter. But I'm going to prove to you that's a lie. Because I'm next thing I'll do is take this meter out of the line, reconnect the transmission line to the antenna, and then go inside. Okay, the helper in the ham shack. Well, I can't show because we're doing something highly illegal here. It's KBYPXYL. She pushed the key. But um, she was in here while I was out at the meter and watching the, she was watching the SWR meter on the Drake. And we'd arranged it when I just stood under the antenna and didn't do anything. She observed the meter. What happened? Nothing. It didn't move. It didn't move. That's what happens when we put dielectric bodies in the fields of antennas. They're absorptive. And I absorbed energy. But um, after the second time I waved, what did it do? It's still... Pretty much nothing. nothing. And the third time, nothing. Nothing. The second time she waved, I set the Olsen Twins meter forward, set on infinite to calibrate. I set it to reflect, and you saw it go to basically an infinite SWR. This proves that that network, matching network, did absolutely nothing to match an antenna. In fact, it probably made it worse. The SWR on that dipole out there is infinite. There will be no power transferred to it. You won't get out of your own neighborhood on a system with a mismatched antenna and a fake tuner.